So if we're live now, what were we before? I'm, I'm live. <laughs> Could you close the door, please? <laughs> oh, Where's he? Didn't hear us. He's not even listening. Where did Kippy go? I think that's trouble. Oh. I have to notice how loud he talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're live. I think. I don't know. Skip knows. I don't know. He works at the big Y, I see. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah, so he does. Yeah, he really the agenda over there or not? Okay. Um, got an extra? Yeah. So, uh, call the meeting to order. I guess. Yeah. Thanks. We have minutes from last week's. Yeah, I got three changes. Changes? Well, I wasn't sure on one, but 312, 5400. The second line, what we approved, had a, a three nine one two four one two one three. It should be three eight one two four one three. Yeah, it's just it's a typo. Eight, typo. Oh, three eight. So it should be the same both. Same both. Okay. And then um, the revote on the library. <coughs> I had the wrong number. Should be one eighty three nine sixty one. Both sides. So 183961? Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 19th with the two changes that were just noted. That's correct. I will second it. Moved, seconded. Any other? Uh... You know, Bruce, you're not getting rid of the job that easily. <laughs> Why? We don't care about the errors. You're going to keep the job. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll only get a few more. Meetings anyway. So. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? One Unanimous? Oops. Uh, one, one abstention, sorry. <coughs> uh, one, two, five, zero, one. Thank you, Bruce. Good job. Bruce always does an excellent job. <coughs> yeah. Julie, note that Bruce does a great job. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Don't make it <laughs> uh, I had mentioned. I guess mostly to you too. That Brenda has been out sick the past two days. Oh, really? So all of those reports that we normally get and uh, directions as to which what what we need to take up, we don't have it. So uh, what I thought it would be good to do is to talk about uh, one of the things that I want to talk about tonight, anyways, was was funding sources and revenues versus expenses. Uh, well, we can't really do that, but we can talk about uh, how we're using debt exclusions or not using debt exclusions, as the case may be. We can make recommendations either to, I guess it's to the Board of Selectmen, since they're the ones who make the decision, right, on debt exclusions? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, budget here. I did talk earlier with uh, with the superintendent of schools about frontier regional capital, and I called him to say, you know, we don't know how much to put in the budget for, you know, paying back the, the debt or whatever it is next year. And based on the discussion, uh, I think it's safe to say that Frontier does not envision uh, having a payment due in 2020. That if they do borrowing, it will be probably a little later in the year. It may not be until uh, next, next summer or near, nearly next summer. Uh, so that there won't be any debt payment until... 2021. So, can we as a committee just make a recommendation whenever it is that we did it? Oh, yes. No, no. I absolutely. I just wanted you to know that. So, that, because it was one of the things that, you know, I think I've, I don't know if I've talked with you, but I've talked with town administrator, with, with Brenda, with Carolyn and Kippy about, you know, what is it? we're doing with Frontier's capital. So it's a decision that we can make 
uh, we don't have to make this year. But I, CPA money for any of that track. Is that mm -hmm. something that you guys would entertain? I mean, maybe there was, is an appetite on the board for that or in town for that, but I just thought, I know Waitley's going to do some of that. I was just trying to think of reducing our assessment somewhat with some funds we have already. But um, just a thought. I don't know if anyone else has that thought or not. Yeah. No, I, Even a portion I, of it, you know, some yeah, portion. I know, that, I know Waitley, or I've been told that Waitley is planning on using that to pay their share of, the, of some, some of it. Anyway. Right. Yep. Any thoughts? Anyone else? Is, is that uh, track, is that open to the public like the uh, tennis courts is? Or is that open I believe so. I, I'll get an answer on that, that but I believe be it is. Concern too. I mean, the tennis courts are open to the general yep. public, right. but I, I mean, it depends on the... It have rubber tracks. It won't let you walk it. They won't let you uh, use it. Right. It's a good point then. Okay, so I'll get an answer yeah, on that. In which case, I would be opposed. Of course, yeah. If it's not, yeah, I assumed it would be open to everybody, you know. Um, I guess it depends on what shoes you I, use, I that kind of thing. But uh, any of them we go to watch them. Uh, as a matter of fact, where the public goes across, even uh, they, you know, for other than the track, they uh, have the tracks covered, yeah. so that you can't even walk across them. Huh. There is a path that they have barricaded for the public to go. But if you get football spikes, you can walk all over. It. Yes. Well, right. I was going to say they football out there all the time. Yeah, so. um, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just saying. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> it just makes make no sense. sense at all. No, I agree. Issues for football. Right. I'll get an answer on that. It's a good point. But I think it is open. Of course, not during school hours. But I mean, you know, any other time, I think it's open. But I'll find out. It's a good just, point. I'll check on that. Did, who just cared for my edification? Who polices? the CPA money spent to make sure it's appropriate. Is this somebody at well, somebody in Boston? Well, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the whole problem with the CPA. Yeah. There is no oversight. It's only based on the local board, and that's it. And you mean how people vote until somebody appeals it? You mean if uh, just your question was like who say we, we know we have a committee to decide. Oh, to see who implemented the project correctly. I see what no, you no, no, spent no. it. Say we spent it improperly on something that wasn't public use? Right, well, for example. Yeah, I think they look it over. I mean, the lawyer looks it over. I know Dean Graves had been involved pretty, right, is it, has been involved in the, I don't know if he's still on, but. You know, the no, problem you run into with the schools, I'm not. we voted at least four or five times for a new roof over the old Deerfield High School gymnasium, because it had the big high roof. We voted at least four or five roofs for that, and all the money was always re-diverted oh. until we finally said, we're going to put it in our budget, and we're going to vote it to control it, and we're not going to give it to the school. Every time they wow. gave it to the school, the school, whatever you give them for money, they have no accountability to the town. Hmm. They can spend it on wherever they want. They can turn around and say, thank you for the $3 million, but I'm going to buy 15 teachers instead. Huh. I know that's not the... Um attitude now there but it, I will imagine in the past that probably was but they're they're pretty you know they're pretty um, how much money I know are they Dar spend really on wants to work really wants to work with do the we town. know how much you're gonna spend what the bonds gonna be for how long and what our payments are gonna be well there is going to be a, a committee made up of select boards and school committee members to decide you know a lot like our capital improvement planning sure. committee to decide the projects going forward and I think our the committee I was on kind of set up the few things that we thought could be grouped together so that we could do a debt exclusion instead of a larger assessment. But um, I believe there would be a group together that, you know, pe delegated from the select boards, or our designee or one of us, and um, from each town to kind of help guide that. So the, the whole idea is Darius is trying to build trust between the towns and the school and, you know, and have good oversight and a good everything we're trying to do with our, what Jeff's the, been working the, on. The real the, question I got is this. The crux of it is, how much do they want? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was in our last meeting. Is that the, is that the, what he's looking it's for? It's the draft budget. Yep. And did Final they tell budget. us what our payments are going to be? Yep. Yes. They did. The bottom. Yeah. It's like a hundred percentage that we have. Principal and interest. Provided everything goes through, you know, it all four, all four towns have to but vote. But at what it. point are they going to vote this? Do we have any articles to put to town meeting? We do. Yes. 
they are going to go, uh, I think they're hoping to put it all before ta each town meeting, but I guess they had to do it in a specific calendar schedule because of the days that they need. April and 4th. everybody's, maybe Bruce knows this better than me, but they, they have uh, a couple of days that, like Conway's late, right? And so there's are early, so there's this time frame that it has to happen. 45 day time frame. That's what it was, yeah. And so, I think April 4th is their vote, if it's the right day. Yeah, yes, because I know we uh, April so 4th Monday. is our joint meeting. So I think that's when everybody comes together and we're hoping to vote um, to that's incur the debt. But that, that as far oh, as I know, April that debt's been decided on, right? It's a Thursday. Uh, there's a, there's, I, I think that everybody's in, in. I don't think there's been a vote on it yet. No, I, which but everybody's but in agreement. I think it, I think they are. They'd like to go forward with this, or at least put it forward to the towns and see what everybody thinks. And then I think once that happens, I still think the committee would get together and decide: truly, is that the right number? Do we, you know, is there any savings we could do? How, you know, is, are we tackling all this at once? Or I think there's still some the, discussion. The, town, the towns basically get to vote at once. Right. So there's a pool of money that goes to the uh, to the uh, union or, capital fund yep. for the schools. Yep. Once once that happens, then it's at the discretion of that committee that you're talking about. Correct. As far as the select board yes. and school representatives. Yep. So you have one select board and whatever school representatives. Yep. And they determine how that money gets spent. Correct. On what, where, who, mm. how, and when. Right. And the voters of the towns basically yes. have to have you, trust. They don't. Exactly. They don't have. It's all they on don't trust. have another another say That's in right. how that money gets yep. spent out. This is the first. Yeah. This so, vote is so your trust. So basically, what the only oversight that will actually happen is from that committee. Yes. There, there'll be. So the town voters will have to all four towns. Will have to trust that their that their representatives the, that their of their representatives towns are, are going to do be the check and balance for exactly. the town. Yep, no, but but that, which is kind of democracy. Of yep. Okay. I I think well two two things. No. First, in the final analysis, it's the school committee that has the final decision. Yes. What we're doing is we're the vote that we'll be taking at town meeting is to authorize the regional school right. to borrow. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what we're. Right. And, mm -hmm. and the dollar amount. Right. That's 1.8 1. 1. million or whatever the number is. Whatever. I think it's 1.8. Yeah. I would, I would still like to um, uh, an answer as to why we are, you know, uh, why they have gone on this many years and run a deficit in, defer, in maintenance, uh, deferred maintenance for, uh, where is it, half a million dollars, $456,000 for deferred maintenance, 10 year total. Keep, as well as uh, uh, it's to keep your rate low. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's. I'm sorry. So you are, where else are you going to get? That, 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 there is no excuse for that, as far as I'm that's concerned. Why you are. Well, every Absolutely. well, what every other year, what are you going to do? I mean, they're going to either add it to their to their assessment to the town. They to do should. Capital. They should have been doing it. Yeah, I know, but every but, year you get a you know you got to keep it in at two and a half or three or three and a half or. So they they have but maybe do? one or two years, and that's we, it. We can uh, we can debate no. this, but I think we're getting a little off the. I guess one way or the other, it's got to get paid for. Yeah, it'd be mean, nice I, if they had been doing it all along. Well, I but, could bring up school choice at this point, but I don't think that's you can. useful. No, I mean it, you know that's why I'm saying it. We're, now we're pushing it. Well, so. it, 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 we are and well, we aren't because you know, it still leads to the fact that. Uh, you're going to give them another pot of money, and it may or may not be used for this deferred oh, no, maintenance. There's no way. Yeah, well, of course it would. Yeah. So. so, since you brought up school choice, um, I didn't bring it up. Yes, I, I, said, I heard you <laughs> say it. I, I heard the words. I, I heard you say it. <laughs> right. So we have X amount of number of students, all the four towns in the school, and I think it's a little under I, 500. A little under. No, I thought it was six. No, it's a little under 500. And then it was 173 of school choice. Yeah, I thought it was 150, but 150. either way, 650 total. 650 total. So the 150, each town pays the percentage based on 650. They added the school choice students in. I don't know how those numbers work. So how do they figure out. that? We don't know. I mean, if somebody comes from Montague. Well, if you pay for improvements to the school, 
It's based on, it's the last five year rolling average. And it's total students, it includes school choice. But so everybody gets to divvy up a percentage of the school choice kids, and we pay for their improvements to go to that school. You talking about school choice out or school choice in? in? School choice in, you only get 5,000 per person. Mm -hmm. It depends on. And it right. depends on special, special, special needs and that, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but still, I mean, it's just the idea is that How are we each, paying for it? because that's the it's formula. Everybody, we pay, we pay fifty something percent of the school, no matter how many kids are there. Yeah, based on our enrollment. Yeah, and Waitley pays whatever their percentage is, no matter how many kids yes. are there. Right, but school choice kids go there for $5,000 and pay no improvement. But they're not right. in the numerator of the calculation of the, for the allocation. They're not. They're part of the cost. They're part of the cost. Yeah, but they're not, when it comes to how it's allocated, they're not part of the calculation. That's correct. Probably. Probably I'm not, not sure. It never did figure out how it's. So it doesn't matter. I mean, the thing is that we don't want school choice kids if it's cost us money. Right. Well, of course it's costing us money. I mean, you got to fill classrooms too, so. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. I know. Okay, so. Right, next. <laughs> so, we, well, we were talking about um, do we want to recommend to the selectmen that it may not necessarily be this town meeting, but that at some future time or whenever it's appropriate. Uh, but that debt, now, Skip, that we pay it. That should, the year you vote this, you should have a debt exclusion vote. If you don't get the debt exclusion vote up front, uh, you're never going to get a debt exclusion vote. You have to get it along with this thing. So this has to go on an annual town meeting. So when they're doing the elections, it's a yes or no vote. Do you approve this debt exclusion vote for this? If you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to screw up our finances for the next 10 years yep. automatically I because agree. that's a priority whether you like it or not, and you have to get a debt exclusion vote to make this thing work. Yep. We have to do that. So, so the answer is? Yeah. My, my recommendation to you, to the committee, is we need a debt exclusion vote the year that we vote this budget. If we're voting it this year for $2 million, our share of that two million, our forty-eight percent, then we have to get a debt exclusion vote for the next ten years. That's my recommendation to you. Anybody else? My recommendation is, whenever they vote it, that they vote it as a debt exclusion. That's what I just said. Whatever no. year, no, whatever year, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But we can't so wait till next year to vote a debt exclusion because if they've already authorized them to borrow the money, and you didn't get a debt exclusion vote based upon that. Next year they could turn around and say no, and it's too late. You mean uh, the, so the yeah. residents say no, that they yeah. don't want well, debt exclusion? Well, why wouldn't, it, why yeah, wouldn't a resident want a debt exclusion? I'm, I'm <coughs> a little naive, but um, why would somebody say no, I don't want a debt excluded? Well, the the, the reason voting for that is a lot of people... They just don't want the debt the, at all. They don't want the debt at all. That's Regardless, we already have the debt, oh, that's, right? They, they so. can vote that down. Right. So. But then you, have to, then you have to put the it into assessment. The issue is that most people feel intimidated by town meeting. Everybody says, all those in favor say aye, right. and everybody, everybody yeah. raises their hands and people are afraid to say no. They'd rather do it at the ballot. So they'd rather do it at the ballot, and that's their only way out. And what happens is a lot of people that are naysayers will come out to make sure they vote, but they won't be at town meeting. Mm -hmm. So what you're, what you're really asking is that the vote, the vote that you get from the school has to be subject to a debt exclusion subject vote. Subject to a debt period. exclusion. And the selectmen okay. have to make sure that they that put it on sense. that thing. I think that's they what say, every other town. Do you approve this debt well. exclusion vote for Frontier Regional School for two point one million dollars? I agree oh, with stop John. throwing numbers at me. Thank you. What? Appreciate your. So support. the vote. Are you making a motion? You can't. You can't are we voting on this? Want me to? Yes. So no, I'll make a motion that the uh, finance committee recommends strongly to the board of selectmen. Oh. Yeah that whatever they vote for money going well, into the building fund for Frontier all. Regional School, I mean, they're not going to get buy-in unless they have for the next 10 years, be included with wording that says to be confirmed by a debt exclusion no, vote no, on our 
It's the town voting town day of May, whatever it is, third or fifth or so it was subject to a debt exclusion. Subject to a debt exclusion, yeah. I'll, I'll second it. I'll third it. Could you read back the motion? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's joking. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. You, you've got. You I, got, got I got. The, I got. Because you do such a great job. I got job, the most of it. You get the next seven days to get it figured out. <laughs> I can watch the tape again. <laughs> you think that's going to help? Oh no. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. So who who uh, John, John, John made the motion. Who seconded? Jeff. It? Jeff. Jeff. Okay. And the vote was. So it isn't yet. Discussion so, now. It's going to come now. All those in favor oh, wait a of the motion. Uh, uh, or do you want some more discussion? discussion? I, I, I just want to, okay, so what you, you don't have a number that you're talking about. You're just talking about whatever it piles up to be for the next 10 years, but which could be four, five, six not, million. It will not be a number. The, no, the number that they've got is uh, 1.8 million. Right. That's not, that's not going to be in the, in the that's, motion. That's one year. That's for one year. No. No, no, no that's, that's for the 10 years. That's 10 years. It says total spending, one year borrowing, one point eight million. Yeah, the borrowing yeah, is what they've got to borrow. It's, that's right. what they're gonna pay the to contract. They can spend it over whenever they want to. And then they're gonna build in the other into their line item budget first. So then that following year to go and build into one point six million into your line item budget? I think so. And then one point five and one point three? Yeah. Well what it, whatever it is, they they're gonna put that in their operating budget. I think. I don't think they're going to. I think we're going to get just like Assessment, Frank County like, Tech School, yeah. a separate bill for that was maintenance, the, uh, funding, or whatever they're going to call it. Uh, yeah, for their capital improvement. For the capital, capital improvement, improvement fund. Right. right. But they're we'll also get a separate bill, which means that it's not part of their budget. This is over and above their budget. But the, the so, article, so the article as I understand the article, is going to say we're authorizing Frontier to borrow. $1.8 million for capital purposes, period. Subject so, to a debt exclusion. Well, so they we're, they asking, we're asking you to be subject, but so, anything else above that, they don't have the authority. They don't have the authority. So the next right. year they got to come uh, back for me. the 1.6. No, no. no. They got the 1.8 million. They're going to put the money on the 10-year bank account and then spend that on whatever they have to. But our funding goes out to 10 years. Are we there? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but we don't they, have to be voted. On Once you get the 1.8 million, no. they're not going to come back for another vote. They're bullshit. looking for over four over the 10 years. Oh, no. I thought they were. They're just out they here. The, the bothered me. My, my, of course, they're uh, only I, I thought they were going to try to build the rest of that into their budget over. Uh, yeah, that's my understanding. Right. Over a 10 year period. Build it into the budget, but not right. as not, part of this 1.8 million. Not as part of the 1.8. The 1.8 million is one vote. Right. Subject to debt exclusion, and once they vote that, the people got to confirm that vote like they did for Frank County Tech School. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Because so I'm, I'm going to in the, these guys to join us for the discussion. additional money. Okay, Bruce. Bruce. I think my understanding of it was they were going to do another budget line, add a add a line, a new line in their budget. Can we uh, ask all the senior selectmen to show up? <coughs> I, I, I just didn't want to come up and Trevor was here. You're participate right. in that, so I, I don't oh, want to no. uh, I want you both participating. Well, yeah, we, I'm not sure what's going on. We can't because we didn't post it. So that's why oh. we can't. Well, you're not talking between you two, you're right. talking to us. Yes. Okay. Uh, have Has your committee voted on whether or not they're going to support the dollar amount, is what I'm curious about. Well, that's what we're. That's what we're discussing now. I mean, because I sat on that board where Trevor is now for a good six, seven months. I know. And the vast majority of what they are looking for, I think, is a total waste. They want to replace all the bleachers because the wheels have flat spots on them. They want to replace the entire gym floor because it has some scuffs. But don't they have to take the, the bleachers out before they do the floor? Um, I, they might, but I mean, it isn't like you don't, if, if they even have to remove them, they don't have to buy all new ones for, I think it was $147,000. Just curious. I yeah. Know. You know. Well, whatever they've got, they, they were starting, they started off at $4 million. So I don't know what, what they're looking at now. Was it down to 1.8 million? This listed oh, here. That's because they're, they're breaking the, the, their projects up in over different times. That's yeah. why. Um, well, even still, four million doesn't break down into one point eight million. So I mean, there's other. St I realize that there's some stuff that they've taken out 
and they're going to try to work that number. into their budget for the annual basis. Yeah, I know. I'm well, to I think the $1.8 oh. million included, you know, like, the, the track, the bleach, and some things. In the yes. second year, hey, Skip. the second year was going to go. It's getting a little noisy in here. I'm sure the people yeah. on TV can't hear it. I know. Day. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, guys. Yeah. Can't hear. Excuse us. How about, why don't you come over here, because we're discussing town business here. Okay. So I So you, I understand that. you can sit between them so that they can come and join each other. I don't know this man. Sit between them and us. <laughs> They're trying not to talk to each other through me. <laughs> well, the, the reason that we had a sidebar is because the conversation that you all had about debt exclusion. And, it, and I was getting educated on how the process works. And I think we have it wrong. It, at least from I had it wrong is how that, that goes about. And uh, so we don't. School How committee. Did it go then? The school. So from what I'm getting, and don't take this we're, for gospel. What I'm understand, and we're getting this confirmed, is the school committee um, takes a vote to incur the debt, to ask the towns to incur this debt. Then, um, once that happens, they have to call a special election, not our annual, a special election paid for by the school committee, presented to the town to call this school. question. And this question would be um, to allow them to incur the debt. We could choose not to, the only part we would have a play in is if we wanted to knock that down. If we did not want to vote for it, not support it, then we would come out and vote against it. Um, once that happens and, and the town has incurred the debt, the school, committee. school committee has incurred the debt, now the town could call a second special election on a ballot to debt exclude it at a later date, or maybe we, a, or we could do it at an annual. Then we annual. can debt or at exclude next it. annual right, that's or at any time. Okay. So that's I guess that's I didn't understand how the steps went, but but I guess that's kind of from and we're getting clarification on that. Well, but it's I think the that's same the same process you did with the tech school. You just did it, that in with the last that, couple yeah. years. It, so it was the same same process. John, John hasn't been here last well, a couple of weeks ago. We did talk, or I talked with Brenda. We talked with. Uh, uh, DLS. DLS, the subsidiary of DLS. Yeah. yeah, and we talked about uh, debt exclusions and how that actually had to occur. What you said was fine. It subjects that vote or that bond issue to a debt exclusion. It doesn't yeah. give it to you unless you get a debt exclusion. Yeah subject to a debt exclusion. The alternate to that is you vote it and then you you do the debt exclusion vote later, which you can do according to the DLS. But How if much you later. Well we're gonna we're gonna ask uh, debt that we authorized in 2015 for the tech school. Yeah. We're gonna bring up tonight and ask that we debt exclude that. That's right, I don't think we had debt exclusion. No we didn't. Yeah. So they said that we can. And what do we do now if they turn around and say no, they will not accept the debt for front from the uh, Frank County Tech School? It stays in the operating budget. It doesn't doesn't no, doesn't no, make well, a difference. We got to keep paying. But we're going to we're going to pay for it. We can't debt exclude. That's all. That's enough. That's hmm. Fifty thousand out of our budget every year that we or have no that. say over. Ninety thousand. Whatever it is, fifty thousand. Tech, tech school is twenty at the moment. But. Uh, this will be a hundred thousand, uh, average about a hundred thousand dollars a year on our budget for ten years. Right, yeah. right. Frontiers. Yeah. Frontiers. Yeah. yeah. So, so if we didn't do the, recommend, the recommendation that you're making is that, <clears throat> and that we vote, that we're discussing is to subject the vote to a debt exclusion. To a debt exclusion. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So, so as far as the regional school, don't, don't, the only question about that is whether it goes against Chapter 71, Section 16, um, I think it's N, which is where it talks about calling the special election. The school committee actually calls the election and puts, you know, calls the question. So it may be, I don't know, but this is what I'm trying to, to uh, confirm, is if the, so the town can doesn't have any say on, on the question, but could the school 
you know, call for a debt exclusion in that. I'm, what are we? I'm not we sure have a we have a vote. Can. We have an article on the town warrant right. authorizing to authorize Frontier Regional to borrow 1.8 million. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. We don't. Where is it? No. It, well, the article is not. That is not exactly how the article will appear. What the language in the law says is that the town can have an article to disapprove. So if we were going to go, we have to go with an article to disapprove. If, if there is no desire to disapprove, you don't even have to have an article. So, so that's up to the selectmen. So I'm trying to get the language as well for you know, what that would look like. That's up to the board of selectmen. Yeah, so I heard at your last meeting, the town doesn't need to vote on this. Correct. If the town, the town, the, the, the statute says if the town just did not have a town meeting vote. They yep. have a certain amount of time, I think, after the days. school committee votes, 45 days. So if a town just didn't call a vote at all or and call a town meeting, then it would just be presumed to be in favor of the borrowing. Yep. So, so we got 45 days to either vote yes or no on a debt exclusion. Um, no, 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 to vote to vote to either not to vote at all or to vote to disapprove the authorization yeah. to borrow. So the first be, chance to disapprove it or to vote <laughs> on it would be a town meeting vote. So we would put an article on if we didn't want it to happen. Right. Yeah, it's it's not clear whether we need to put an so article on. So if if we put if we don't put an article on this the Franklin Regional High School will st our frontier will still mm -hmm. have to put call a special election. Mm -hmm. That at that point the townspeople would vote. Is that going to be at our annual town meeting election? No. No, I think it'd it would be later. It has to be a special. A special. Mm -hmm. The language in the law So then after that is done, whether it passes or yep. doesn't pass, yep. that's in lieu of not having an article or having an article at the annual town meeting. It's a second yeah. step. That second has to step. Occur. So, so we basically, either, if all the towns didn't get to town meeting and all in, in implicitly approved, it still has to go to a special election in every town. Our understanding is to vote also. So the question is, if we want the townspeople to vote yes or no, the selectmen should not put an article on a no town meeting. That's the way it sounds right now. Yeah. That's the way it sounds to me. Yeah. Right, if we don't, and then they call it. Then they'll then call a special call it, election, and then everybody can decide it. whether it's Then the town can come court. and vote at a special election. Correct. And at, that, po at, at okay. that point, who has to call a special election? The, the, school, school, the school does. The school yeah. committee. The regional committee has to call it. And then, and then, and then the town can decide whether then we want to the town approves that, it, approve it, then we can at annual town meeting vote. Correct. It debt excludes. Debt excludes. I think Bruce has got it and right. And you can look this up. This is in Chapter 71, Section 16. It's D and N. I think I've read through it, but it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. We've I looked at it, and, you know, mean. that's why we've, we've, con we've talked to D DLS, we've talked to or DOR, um, we've talked to council. Um, you know, I think the school committee should also confer on this and make sure. I haven't actually, I, I haven't written back to Darius to find out if they, I presume they understand the process. They but have it, an Maybe not. It, but is <laughs> it is definitely, it will go to a ballot if the towns do not put an article on it. Right. Well, it, no, even if they put an article on it, they put a negative article on it, it still will go to special. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. I mean, even, that's what I'm saying. Even if they don't put it on there, yeah, it still, still has to go be. to a yeah. yes. ballot. I think and I, my question, I think it's better not to have it on because then so the sound of it. But discussion, discuss that there will be a special yeah. mm -hmm. meeting where all the townspeople can vote right. whether they want to expend that much money. Mm -hmm. And it should be somehow broken out what the town of Deerfield's liability might be. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think it should be informative at this town meeting and then let people vote. Because mm -hmm. town meeting <coughs> vote is a show of hands. And we discussed that a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So and this I, is a private, this is a private personal vote. ballot. Mm -hmm. I, and I guess my input on that would be, um, I guess I would, my personal feelings, I would take the uh, six, do it as uh, two requests. The track is a separate request from the regular, regular budget. I don't think that's going to happen. What are the problems? You know, with I the don't track? see the I track. Don't think there was any major problems. Six hundred thirty thousand. 
Yeah. But what are the problems with oh, it? Why do they one, yes. need it? I remember I when they first did the school, they had a problem because the landscape engineer designed the soil wrong and you ended up with concrete out there instead of grass growing on the... Oh, yeah, I don't... So I don't, now, are they still fixing that problem? What are they fixing for $600,000? I think they Brand new track. Yeah, Brand they've track. topped it several times, at least once, I, I know, maybe twice, and I think at this point, you know, they're not going to hold track there any longer because the condition of the track is not great. I know there's been discussion whether that's true or not, but there's, I guess, some pretty good, you know, it's failing as far as what the the people who come and do tracks and, uh, you know, hold events, they, they're not going to hold them there any longer because the track isn't supported. It's sort of like, like the what, fan, yeah. fox watching the hen house, though. Well, I don't think it, I think it's like whoever does, like they'll hold them at Turner's because they got a better track, or Greenfield's got a new track, that kind of thing. That's where they would hold them. They wouldn't MIA hold them at Frontier. MIA will have to approve the track. MIA. No, I mean asking the people that fix tracks. No, it's it not the it. people who fix. I think it's the no. people who hold the events, whoever the holds oh, okay. the athletic, yeah. They, they rule whether the, the, the track is usable. Right. right. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about it. I think, is, I think have it they ruled? Be, it well, would be another not, assessment and another quote, and then, you know, they'd have to go through that committee and make sure it was well accurate. Right I, now, from what I understand, Frontier is supposed to send you an article to put on town meeting. They have. They, they have. have sent it, correct. So what are we doing? So what we should do is then recommend that the selectmen not put it on the agenda since the school committee is going to have to have another meeting. Why would we turn and vote this and then turn guess, on, have them the, call the a special is meeting? If any of the towns, and the, the school committee was specifically holding off on voting this, uh, uh, this authorization at their own group, at their own table, because they wanted to do the, have the timing be that 45 days um, allow all the towns in the district to have, to, a be say. Able to, to have a say if they wanted. I think the reason you would do it is if you felt there was an indication that one town was going to disapprove it, then you wouldn't have. You, then they wouldn't you, have to go through you calling the question. Know. You, know, you better know. You better know now. They wouldn't have to call the ballot and all that if a town disapproved it. Because if one town disapproves of a mm -hmm. town meeting, it's done. Um, so, so maybe that's a that's, negative vote. So, if it's a negative vote, if one town votes to disapprove, so everybody that wants the track will say, will raise their hand. If all four towns yes. just put it on and they voted, you know, to not disapprove. So it, you're going to vote to to vote. not recommend. The you're going to vote to not disapprove, not I dis think, is what you're going to be voting, something like that effect. Well, not to say not disapprove, but to yeah. disapprove. No. To I disapprove. think with the vote, is, the, is, right, is I suspect, negative, I haven't gotten the motion vote. language, but yeah. I suspect it's going to be something like, you know, to, to disapprove, if you disapprove, because that's what the language in the law says, but I, I'm waiting to get that from Yeah, from no, council. that, that I'm <clears throat> I guess my take is still on the track is is if there is a, other sources, what happens if you give them an authorization to borrow the 1.8 and they continue to use that money since its end result is uh, it's a school committee that decides where the money gets spent. And it's, I guess it is, but they're going based on the, the select board and the and, and the, you know, the, the working group, the capital improvement group, and the whole idea is to get the track. You're thinking, might they get the money and they spend it on teachers instead of the track? Teachers or? Uh, no, that, there's no, no uh, way. This and, is and I'll read right out of their own report. It's not uncommon for regional school districts and municipalities where budgets are tight to divert funds from maintenance repair, uh, and repair accounts to finance other critical spending and purposes. I, and I think that's, that's right what, out of their own report. Well, because that's what, what got them to today and the, all the work that's been done over the year to try and get capital. And the whole idea is to get financial policies in place and capital in place and, and do like we're hoping to do in town here and the work that Jeff and, and all of you have been doing to get good, sound, trustful policies that people can trust that the school committee is doing what they want. and. Um, that's why they're getting buy-in. Yes. Oh, so the, uh, the subcommittee, the school, the school whatever they're going to call it, yeah. improvement committee, is going to be made up of four school committee members and four representatives, one from each community. Yeah. It's still a school committee determination. It's only an advisory so board. That You're right. group of, you got it's a, it could be a, a neutral vote, passes along to the school committee, School committee has a final word. Yes. For any committee or subcommittee, you have to have an odd number. So you couldn't end up with a four for and four against. 
So it can't be an eight-member yeah, committee. I don't it's going to have to be a nine-member committee. I think it's the one way or the other. Oh, so maybe vote. the superintendents this decide to vote. I don't, I'm not sure. I what think the it is. is. I mean, if the they, superintendent's they, looking for. I mean, the whole process was to get buy-in from the towns and to start building trust. So I mean, that's. I think that's where he's, where we're trying to move. Hopefully, there'll be reciprocation. Well, the track record has not been good over the last okay, so, year. Okay, so a I'm, new day. At this at this point, I'm sufficiently confused. <laughs> I, I I do agree, and I want to see this project subjected to uh, a debt exclusion, because simple fact of the matter is, yes. hundred thousand bucks every year is too much. Uh, could we find a hundred thousand dollars one yeah, year? Sure. sure. Could we find ten. it two years? Ten years running? Right. No. Right. Not without. So the question then is, you know, where are you going to get the hundred thousand from? Who are you going to lay off? Actually, you don't have to. It's the, uh, about a hundred thousand dollars is the annual increase in salary for the teachers. Everybody, all town employees. So nobody will nobody get has to get laid off. Years. Well, for ten years, but they don't get right. raises. They don't get raises so for ten years. For ten years. So that's, that's one problem. option. No There's one's a multiple options. Now you use hundred thousand well, dollars. I agree, but it's like, where's the money coming from? That's it's got to come from multiple places or one single place. Should I bring up Seward now? Okay. No. <laughs> no. So I, I'm going to suggest that we just table it. Table it and. Let's, we'll see if we can't get something written up for next mm -hmm. week. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to invite the Board of Selectmen to join us next week to talk about primarily what, we're, what our budget, yeah. what it looks like, the expense side, and what the revenue side looks like. And when we put them together, see, what see where we out. are. Mm -hmm. this, it, presently, we seem to be in reasonably good shape. Good. Uh, can we ask uh, Bruce to restate his question before? What question was that? The question about if you had $4 million proposed fund request and they got it down to less than $2 million, are they going to keep asking for money on year two, three, four, and five? Yes. To keep buying stuff? And where are they going to get that money from? Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't catch I that one. I understand that some of the stuff they're planning on and, and how much no one has said they're planning on, on taking the money either out of their E&D account mm -hmm. or including it in their regular budget. Because they have a 50 a year, 50 a year, I believe, they use for maintenance, and that gets eaten up pretty it, quick. And they usually spend 65 some, this year. Yeah, and they yeah. usually do E&D for the other stuff. But, you know, because the, the idea was to, they, the number was bigger before, as everybody remembered, and, and the committee's view was like it's, not attainable so how do we go about this and you know we we had concern of not doing some of these other deferred things but we felt like let's ask for the things that could be debt excluded that are large enough to do that and then um, the rest of the stuff is just going to have to be filled in as as we can as they can with e and d funds and their regular you know maintenance to try and try and clean up all those smaller items that are that have been deferred and just go after the, the large stuff with the debt exclusion. If that makes sense. Did that answer your question that you didn't ask? Probably not. No, <laughs> well, well, it says right here, to be addressed with budget, E&D, yeah. and future capital future requests capital to towns. Requests. Right. Okay. Right okay, so which it means you're going to come back annually. Uh, so it's they not it's not just 100000 that you're talking about finding. It's 200000 every year. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe. But you'll have a chance to say no. You know but, what I mean? It will be part of their regular budget. Yes. Yeah. Well, the only Whatever. the only problem with that, though, is as I stated before, if it becomes part of their regular budget, right. then you you the you're going to have to have a couple of towns vote down the school budget because if three out of four towns approve it, it passes. So you right. know you're. 
Well, I think w one of the, th and the, what we did, what the committee did pull out of that was, was the 100,000 a year to go into capital and, you know, capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. um, that's really what they had hoped for to be able to include in this, um, this request so that they could, they didn't have to keep, I mean, actually they're coming for the 100, but to be able to put that in a fund to just address these capital things that they, that haven't been able to been addressed. So they pulled that back because they just, it, the number's getting too big and they felt like let's go for stuff that could be debt excluded to make it a, more affordable for the towns or more easy Thanks. for the towns. Um, Kip, the, the item that you mentioned, the, the gym floor and the bleachers are not included in the debt exclusion, are not included in their request. Not this year. Not this. That's, that's what my point was. Exactly. That's what Bruce is talking about. Right. That he's going to come back. Yes. And where it ends up well, is going to be in the operating Has place. Has, uh, mm -hmm. if they included funds for resurfacing the uh, gym no. floor? No. Yes. Uh, not, not, in this, oh, not, not in this number. Not in resurface. <laughs> okay. No, not there. But so they, we'll be, there is a number for it. Yes. In there, I'm not sure if it, I don't believe it's annually, but. Whatever their schedule is, every three or five years, they, they do have uh, money for that. But that's what they're going to they're resurface. They're not actually going to tear it up. But no, they're, no, are. they're going to tear it up. Huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I, that's what that's exactly. But it's what, not in there at this point. Not in there at this point. No, no. no okay. It's not. Yeah, I and, think so, and, a lot of that stuff needs to get decided and figured out by that committee. I mean, a lot of the, mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff on there all needs to be still mm -hmm. vetted and. Quoted and are we sure we really need this kind of thing? Uh, uh, it's not an automatic. Well, that's part of the language that got to me was that, well, it was at the end of its useful lifespan. You know, I, I hear that a lot in this municipal world, and, I, and my answer is, or question is, well, what's the life expectancy of a hardwood floor? If the boards are loose or broken or really warped bad, there's a lot of things that can, can be fetched. But just to rip it all up because it's 25 years old is ridiculous. You know? Of course on the, it is. On the second page, I don't even see it either. Well, either under backlog of capital needs, yeah. unscheduled major needs. Oh, there it is. Resand, sand and refinished floor, 35,000. Yeah, I don't think it was rip it up. That's what they got. Yeah. That's, They're not ripping it up. Okay. That's, that was, you know, I have not been involved, I think, you took over in September, mm -hmm. maybe? Probably. I think it was but July. But the bleachers are in there for 180000 Excuse me? The bleachers are in there uh, for 180000 There's Is another. It? There was another item. I don't know if it's on there. It was uh, putting new stair treads on. Yep, that's under, under <coughs> you know, 30000 I, I wonder if that's the outside bleachers. Cause no. It's, cause, well, it says site as opposed to interior. It talks about CNRA right, finished gym floor that's under interior. About now it says area. replace bleachers gym. Yeah. Right. It does. Wonder why they say site. Sorry, maybe okay. Start, maintenance. Okay. Let's face it. Maintenance is very important, mm -hmm. as we've learned over over the years here, for all our town buildings. Some we've neglected, and it's going to cost us big dollars now. And some have been somewhat kept up. Uh, need a little TLC. But I think, I think the most important thing that we have to remember here is we want to be cost effective as possible. Mm -hmm. And it's simply to say like the track, well, let's just get a new track. Well, do we really need an entire new track? You know, I'm familiar with some sports in that and have played some in my life and coached some in that. And I know that there have been tracks around that have been where, you know, there's been sections that have been replaced. And they still hold meets in that, and it's fine. They didn't have to replace the entire track. So, you know, that comes down to a discussion within group, but you hope that there's enough oversight in that group mm -hmm. to be able to pursue it and make informed make, decisions make or at sure least, at least somebody who comes in and says we need a new track right. then they bring in the people yeah, the experts right. and I say think, here's why you need a new track and you right. can't and go justify and patch this one. correct i think uh, that had happened but i you're right a, it needs by, a, 
by a track installer. I think they had two yes. different track people come in. And yeah, but they didn't have an engineer come in and evaluate the soils, right. evaluate the substrate of the track. Yeah, they haven't come up with a design for a new track and say, oh, this track, because of the substrate, has to be replaced. Right. That's the word I got. And I think that, that I agree would with Bruce because that, then you get in a situation of where are we going to be 10 years out or 15 years out if we're putting a new track on top of the same conditions Correct. that ruin the, the one that's existing now, yep. we're going to be back here looking for, instead of 630,000, we're going to be looking for 900,000 to put another no, new track in Valid there. points. I think we can get answers to all that, and right. I feel like it needs to okay, happen. Okay, so can we put this on hold until, since we're not going to make any decisions, right. and we can bring it up next week? Mm, sure. And have, well, hopefully have more information. You say next good. week. Don't, the only thing I'd like to add to that, so everybody here knows, is that uh, last summer when I did an assessment of the track, and I am not an expert on building tracks, I went there on a very rainy day, and I walked that entire track. I found in that entire length, I don't know, it was a quarter of a mile all the way around there, I found two cracks that I could not put a quarter into, and I have photographs of that. I also witnessed two places where I can see where they had cut that surface and put in a patch a roughly six inches wide. But the reason I went there on a rainy day is because I looked everywhere, and I could not find a puddle that was more than a quarter of an inch deep. I mean, the, the track is pretty flat. There's no bumps. There's no... There's nothing, I tried lifting the edges, nothing's coming up. That's why I could not understand why it had to be replaced. So I then went to Greenfield, Turner's Falls, UMass, and Granby to look at all the other tracks. All the other tracks that I saw were all about five years old. So they did look a lot more presentable, but it looked like it more was the paint. I, I did the same thing I did to all the other ones. As a matter of fact, UMass's uh, track was only two years old, and I found seven cracks in it. Here again, I couldn't stick a quarter in it, but it had seven cracks in it. So, you know, I don't know, you know, when they talk about that whole thing has to be ripped up and the substrate has to be replaced, I don't understand it because even if it was heaved, you would see it with puddles. It would be quite evident. I just want everybody to know. They're going to need, they're gonna need a, a professional assessment and lay it out to the town as to, you know, before they spend the money yep. that this needs to happen and why. And they have no money appropriate for that. Sure they do. Well, yeah. 660,000. 600, That's the construction. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. When were you planning on meeting on the second? Next week? Next Tuesday? Yep. We can meet on the first. Did you prefer April Fools? Sure. No, uh, I was just, I think the, right, because their meeting is the fourth. So Who's? The school. Okay. The joint meeting is the fourth. But. Yeah, it is, I think. So you're playing in the second, yeah. right? Okay. Well, that's a week from today, yes. Yep. Um, let's see. The other ones that we were looking at, talking about a debt exclusion. There's a motion um, on the floor for this one. Oh, there is. That's right. We have a motion on the floor. Anybody want to withdraw the motion? No. My principal still says the same thing. I agree. That whenever we vote a large sum of money that's going to screw up our budget, that we must look out for the welfare of the town and get a debt exclusion for that large amount of money, whatever it is. Yeah, I agree. So if I that, don't, do not want to remove my motion. I'll well, your motion never die by it. <laughs> do you want me to fill a buster some more? <laughs> Can you read green ink some ham? So, read the motion again, please, Bruce. <laughs> Jeez. Couldn't read it the first time. How the hell is he going to do it the second time? All I have was we're going to debt exclude whatever is approved at the annual town meeting for Franklin, uh, for Frontier Regional High, high School, high school um, funding for improvements to the town building. That's good. How many want to vote on this or do we want to table it? I was going to table it, if, it but if no let's, one's going to... Let's vote on this since we already got a motion. And then we can talk to table all the rest of the discussion. Yeah, if it fails, uh, then we'll talk to table. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Two opposed. Uh, four, zero, two? Yep. No, four, two, zero. Two, zero, excuse me. Right, four, two, zero. Four to zero. Four to zero. Two to one. Uh, now can you Do accept whatever you want, boss. I'm, make, I'm here to support you. Okay, I'll make a motion to put it on, to lay the, this on the table. A second. 
We have a motion to table. It's not debatable. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that unanimous? As far as I can hear. Uh, abstain. Abstain. One abstention. Five zero Two abstentions. One. On a motion to table, you're going to abstain? Why are we abstaining? Okay. Abstain. Because I don't understand I what's going on at this point. It. <laughs> You're putting this on the table. We're not going to discuss it any further. We'll bring it up next week, and we'll see if we can get some, some more information. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. I'm lost. <laughs> well. Can I, as we're moving on, I have a question relative to an early conversation we had. We proposed paying off... Um, the Oxford Pickle deck. Yeah, you want to take that up now? I think I w we've already voted. Didn't we vote? We've, we voted. There's money in the budget. We voted. We actually haven't voted. We recommend. We haven't. I don't think we've we done recommend a vote. It. We recommend. We had re discussed it in, in great detail that $299,000. Correct. Would, and uh, as, let's see if I've got the. Which section? There's no section. Uh, yeah. was, um, I thought that was a number. debt exclusion. Oh, yes. debt exclusion or the payment? So uh, that was. Uh, must be the eights. It was in sevens. Sevens. So this is the. Yeah, sevens. Oh, that's the garage. Okay. Here's the uh, here's the original. I'm gonna pass it. The the budget. You make a and, copy of that. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's not accurate now because we paid down, I don't know, was it $300,000, $400,000, $500,000? Yes. Anyone need right. a copy? Yeah, yeah might as well for everybody. Yeah. Please, thank you. And I believe that, sh that should be in debt service. It is $710,5900. It's the, uh, what was that? It's Service the operating money. budget. Right. Right. Seven ten fifty nine hundred. Yes, so, sir. The Oxford was ninety five thousand. That was just an an, one annual payment. Correct. All right. And at this point, there are three more annual payments. Right. Yeah. Right. So we 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 are waiting for maturing debt. Well, we, do we vote it? We did. Well, we did. We, we did, did vote, vote it. it. But that doesn't mean we can't. I understand. But weren't we waiting for more debt to be added to this? No. Why? No, we approved it. No. I know, but we didn't approve the excess of the Oxford pickle debt yeah. to pay that. Thank you. We only approved ninety-five thousand for Oxford pickle, Thank you. which is maybe another hundred and eighty thousand that we Why have not? to. We still you're have sure on the books. You sure it went, Trevor? Sorry, I'm fine. Well, there's there's another figure in here which is yeah, we which we did yeah. vote, but it's inaccurate just for so that you know. Uh, on the next one, it's interest on maturing debt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's thirty-five thousand thirty-five thousand seven hundred sixty-five dollars. We voted that, and we voted that. Right. We voted to recommend that, uh, and I think that's that's in error. Mm -hmm. uh, we we only owe two hundred. We only owe two hundred eighty-five thousand. Yep. Yeah. It'd be so like it, at, at, even at at one percent, it would be roughly three thousand bucks. Right. Yes, but the thing is that we've already paid. We don't have that much debt. That was based on. So that's right. So we, yeah. it is seventeen seven yeah. sixty three. But it it's says, even lower. Than it that. says in the explanation, Oxford loan may be paid off in F one day. May be paid off. Yes. And we haven't voted to pay that off yet. It's not part of our budget. No, it's not. And I think we need to just decide whether or not we're going to pay it off. What's the, yes, I agree. Or because, we can recommend it. Because we have a budget that's, if we don't include that, it's going to look like it's short a little bit. No prepayment penalties, I trust. No. No. <laughs> yeah, we, we, did, we did pay off, oh, not pay off, we paid down that loan yes. quite a bit by the money we got from Dumont. Yeah, we still right. have. Well, we do we still have three more nature, payments. Nature's, nature's Bakery. Thousand, no. Right. Uh, so we paid down all but two hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Yes. Right. So the question is, in a discussion I'd like to have is, next year we need to pay down ninety-five thousand more. That's the annual payment. That's what we right. approved. Plus whatever interest, thirty-five thousand yeah, is too much. Yeah, it's thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too high. So the question is, one thirty. Would it make some sense 
to pay it all off now if the funds are available. So we don't have to pay interest. Sure. The thirty-five thousand is too high, and the number should be more like twelve or thirteen thousand. But it's still, it would be less money that the town would pay because yeah. we don't get as much Correct. money as that. So Correct. Makes sense. So here's we've got that. We obviously have ninety-five thousand because we're budgeting it. Right. And we could use that if we said that we were going to use, or if the selectman said, or the town said that we use free cash to pay this portion. And that's the decision that you know. You guys will make, or, or the town administrator and the town accountant will make at town meeting. Well, we I could find out from Brenda what the payoff amount would be. Because I right now we have one hundred and thirty thousand dollars out. Three hundred thousand. It's three hundred thousand. Two hundred eighty-five in principal, plus actually plus it's less than interest. That, about five thousand in interest. Of the money we voted. From that sheet. Seventeen in interest. Of the voted money we voted, we have one hundred and thirty thousand. Seven hundred and sixty-five dollars. Yeah, but the interest is wrong. To make a difference, we voted. We, yeah. Oh, yes. That's correct. Yeah. I, yeah this, so this we voted one hundred and thirty thousand six correct. seventy-five. Correct. Whatever the balance is, is what we need to vote. It's approximately two eighty. Right? We we I'm have. You remember a couple of years ago we sold some property. Hmm. Yeah. Three or four pieces. Tag sale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tag sale. Uh, and that brought in, I believe the figure was a little over 100,000. So yep. somebody's going to yell and scream and say, no, it was only 80, and somebody else is going to say it was 120, or whatever. whatever it is. That, that money is restricted. You can't use it. It doesn't go into free cash. Right. It has to be used for. It has to be used for some certain specific purposes. Right. This is one debt right. service. So we had, we had the property. discussion. We had about a hundred and something thousand. So we have a hundred thousand. So if you can, if we can take that and add this to the hundred and thirty, yeah. And we need give or take three hundred. So we're approximately seventy thousand dollars short. Can we recommend that you use that hundred thousand dollars and another seventy thousand dollars for free cash and just pay this thing down? Save us. I'm glad I, you recommended I, that because I agree with you. I agree too. And we've yep. all agreed, but agree we've never too. made an actual, nobody's ever come Assessment. up with, the never time. made a motion. Motion, and we haven't voted. There's no right. line Correct. item to vote. We have to vote the movement, to put the money, 100000 towards the payment. We need someone to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. And this may require a special town meeting. Who's going to do it in FY19? I suppose we could do it July 2nd and, and leave it in the budget, but one way or the other. Why not leave it and in the, the budget? Special, the special town meeting is simply, you know, which we do all the time at the annual town meeting. We usually have a special well, town prior meeting. Prior to. Right. Yeah. True. So, and that, that I wasn't concerned about. So, that's... So, it would still come out of free cash, all of it. The 70000 would come out of free cash. Yeah, it's going to, well... Because that's all we have. 200000 yeah. is going to come out of free cash. And a hundred thousand comes out of the uh, the account. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. We've already approved one thirty. Where we're right. coming from. So it'd be but the special seven, town eight. meeting's going to be the difference. Yep. And this so and this line this line item be eliminated. Correct. As yes. far as the budget, it must be mm -hmm. It'll be done. We we we'll did done. we basically did this. We did that for the energy loan. For the yes. energy loan. Right. Correct. Right. Right. And, and uh, yeah. And I don't know what what procedure we went through, but. Barbara, I guess, probably said, look, here's what I want to do. So that's a priority for me, that we get that on prior, take that money, $300,000 out of the FY19 free cash, whatever the, whatever the dollar value is. Then we go to town meeting with less, $300,000 less than free cash. Well, no, it's, it's. No, because you're already budgeting 95000 and the 36000 No. So we, you're, you're going to be that, short 180. But if you take a hundred thousand out of that other fund, we should probably need about eighty thousand, eighty or eighty-five thousand. That's fine as long as we don't, we don't appropriate to pay the entire loan off at the special. We're going to make a partial payment out of FY19. No, we, want to, we want to pay off the whole we thing. Want to pay off the I agree with you. We have to pay the whole thing, then we can't use right. FY20 budgeted money. Right. That's correct. So we, we won't partial. budget this. So we would so change. We would, change this we would have budget. to change this. You have to re re vote these two budget items. Yes, yes, come up with that's correct. Article. That's correct. Yeah. So, so, why don't so you make your motion? I'll second it. Okay, I made the motion. 
You did? Yep. What was the motion? To pay off the loan, right? To pay off the uh, Oxford property loan. Period. Using right. a hundred, Period. A hundred from the other end. Using, using available funds. Yep. There you go. Is that pretty good? I'm That's getting pretty good. Aren't you going to need, need 280 yeah. of free cash? Yes. No. No, 285. Well, okay. Rough. Okay. <laughs> Plus or minus 10%. I, I'm going to I'm gonna let... But how are you getting? And Brenda and Diana and the Board of Selectmen figure it out. This pass the buck. Good. But that's the amount, proximate amount that's going to come out of free cash. You can't use the, what's in the budget again. Right, exactly. So well, whatever, 285, whatever we owe is going to come, come out of the budget, budget, though. That's right. Yes. And in addition to that money coming out of the budget, we need another $80,000. Right. No this way. is going to take 100 the, the recommendation is to take $100,000 out of whatever account that's in. So what happens if it's free cash? Yeah, we haven't used that for anything else, have we? You're, you're restricted on what right. you're using. That's right. You have. So what happens if it I've been checking to, and you making it sure for the last but year that you haven't still still there. used it? Got to raise your hand. Yeah, it's all coming out. Yeah. So what happens if it fails to uh, pass at town meeting and you haven't budgeted yeah. for the 2020? But what happens? I I don't know. If They're going to throw us in jail. Town meeting. I guess they'll throw us in jail. Right. So that would. They only put the selectmen in jail, not the finance committee. No, we're going to put him in jail. Are you indicting co-conspirators? So, which we don't. Are we going to vote this then? Vote to recommend to the selectmen that we pay yeah. off the. Uh, we have a, well, we have a motion. Oxford property loan. We have a motion. I'll okay. second it. So, but that I mean that's it. Pay off the Oxford property loan. Yep. Got it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? It's unanimous. Unanimous. Thank you. Now, thank you. We finally if they approve that. If they approve that, then we have to, as Bruce pointed out, we're going to have to come back and revote the maturing debt and the interest of the maturing debt. We had to revote one of them anyway. Right. Yeah, we should revote one of them. Right. Because it's so bad. That was my next vote. Oh, yeah. It's all right here. Oh, just, we're going to revote. So, do you guys agree? Yes. I don't think it's feasible. Yeah. I just asked him to write it down because I won't remember just, tomorrow. You're not supposed to talk to him. You're supposed to talk to us. I just we'll want talk. to hear. I just want to talk to Barbara and uh, Brenda and make sure we're on okay. Good. Everybody bother Barbara and Brenda. Um, I, li I like the sentiment. The I'll hold my let's judgment. see. The next one that was on my list. Do we need Wait, to revote this Oxford? Or I no? think we no, need to. Now. We'll let let them come up with one. We can vote. Yeah, things come up with a plan. Then we'll support well, let, yeah. Right. Let yeah. the select board and them come up with. Or let okay. Brenda come up with a new sheet. Right. I'm making change it. Or um, two new sheets. The uh, debt that Franklin County Tech has taken, and our piece of it is roughly $20,000 a year. Uh, I would like to talk about whether we make a recommendation to use to debt exclude that. Those payments. What's your yes. I, I, What's your comment? I agree with you. Before we go there, I just want a timing issue. We have a special town meeting to get rid of this debt. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't pass, we I'll, could. If it doesn't pass, if if the decision is made, we could actually do it in this budget. I understand. So and we just won't be able is, to pay it until July second. That then we won't <coughs> revote the budget. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then we don't revote the budget. I would have to revote something because we got to increase the. Oh, we have to increase the total amount somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I guess, how do you time that? Do we have a meeting prior to the special town meeting? And we, uh, how, you know, the budget's well, all going to be prepared. It, it's, that's your. That's, I, what I know what trying, you're that's what I'm trying to figure out. I know, I am too. It's, it's it, special, isn't, I don't think it can be done in special. Is it, because it's too quick. Yeah, yeah, because you you got five you're within minutes an hour of the, approving you, the next year's budget. Right. If it if, if it passes, no issue. Well, it if it doesn't pass, then we got. I don't know how we we, we make the payment. We can leave it in this budget, and we'll reduce on the down payment floor the uh, requested amount. That would that would be a way of doing it. But if, don't mix it up. We're just talking about. I was going to say last year we bought a thirty-four thousand dollar lawnmower. This will pass. Yeah, I would guess about 99.9% .9 Yeah, me too, but you got to look you know, at it. Okay. So we're back at the $20,000. I don't think the 20000 is going to be the issue. Some of the other numbers might be. 
<laughs> okay, so but, but what's yeah, your account number? For what? Frank County. Frank County. The debt? debt? Yeah, is it a special? Um, is it what, the what 800 number? series, I believe. Thank you. What's that? I could be wrong, but. You're right, 800. Or is it 900 series? Why don't I have a sheet on it? I don't know. We did have a sheet on it because I just looked at it. 710-5800, 5900. 710-5751-5900. Those are the two items. So, do we, do we recommend it to the Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were talking about Franklin Tech. I thought we were too. Well, we are now, but I thought you wanted to go back and do. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm looking for the Franklin Tech so sheet. So look at 300. 5400. 320, yeah, 5800. 830, 5400. 320, 5800. Right. Franklin Tech. I don't have that sheet. Well, if you look in the right spot, you find it. Three, what, yeah, three assessment. Right? 320, yeah, okay. 5800. All right. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So we want to vote to, to debt exclude all of this. And by the way, I sent it, we talked last week about the 16,512. I did send an email to the tech school asking for an explanation of what uh, that was, since their budget seems to say that this 20,000 is the first year. Yeah. So, and I haven't gotten it back yet. I understand it was the second year. Last year we voted it. it well, that's the word. The wording, year thing. Last the wording year 16, does 000. in different places says be the first year yeah. or it's second the, year. They just in the budget. Get the years mixed yeah. up. So, I just want to double check. That could have been the interest only, and then this includes interest in the principal. Whatever it is. So, again, this is, this is the type of thing of using uh, the debt exclusion to. To keep us from you know, needing to. So what's every what's anybody's thought? I'll make a motion so it's on the table. Second. That's a motion to include the uh, to debt exclude the Franklin Tech Capital. For twenty third. So we have a motion. We have a second. It's on the. On the floor discussion. I'm going to take this back. Are we going to be able to come up with a toll of what That's we're mine. debt excluding? Did you just put? He may copy. Oh, okay. And he put holes in. Okay. I didn't realize you put holes in. Are we going to yes. be able to come up okay. with a toll of what we're debt exclusion? Yes. And yeah. and show tonight? No. No, not tonight. No, but no, and, and, and be able to show yeah, 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 yeah. how that's going to impact the taxpayers. Sure. And also, are these one-year debt exclusion or are these? No, two? debt exclude. The debt exclude the entire debt. So, so we don't. For the next, I think it's a 15-year. Yeah. How much is it? How much we debt exclude? So, um, we, so we're going to take the 280,000 and extend that out. Is that the, is that is that what that is? 280 the, the for garage. the tech school. The garage. The garage. We already voted. We don't yeah, have but to I'm just asking. Uh, is, are you going to take that now and extend that out over 15 years? The garage? Yeah. The garage stays it is. The way it already it is. is. It's all debt excluded. Yeah. We, we did that when we voted it. Right. right. So we don't have really have a sheet on total. Capital has a total. Yes, we do. No, but if we want to exclude all of the debt, this is only one, one year's assessment. We, it's, it's in their budget someplace. But it's it's... And I think it's 15 years, so you're 15 years at... Uh, Did you get a copy of there? I budget? do. It's right here, actually. I got it. Okay. Okay. Here it is. It's in a paragraph. Like this paragraph, it's in a paragraph. Yeah. Where is it? The beginning or the end of the beginning? beginning. <coughs> Page two. Okay. Thank you. There. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Where is the number? Uh, it probably isn't there. I don't have it. 
because there are actually three votes that we took. Oh, next page. On page four, you see the uh, FY 2020 budget, town capital assessments, 237419 Yeah. Okay, that's, that's the, the total for the, for the year. For uh, all the for all the towns, and I don't know if they show the individual. No, they show long-term debt and it's two thirty-seven, which is down below. What about the money we voted last year? I know that's what I'm thinking. Does well, that wind up? Does that wind up ultimately in our free cash? No, no, we paid that. it to them. On page. Uh, so then they have it in E and D. Yeah. Then. On page nine. And our share, for whatever reason, is 8.02%. Yep. Eight based on, sorry, yeah, based on population and uh, based on equalized evaluation, 8.84. So our portion is seven hundred thousand dollars. Eight point eight four. No, that's equalized valuation. That's the oh, total. Oh right, 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 right. Was so we don't still have a total. But no, we don't have a total. Sold bonds bought valued at two million well, two hundred fifteen thousand. So take eight point zero two percent and add whatever the interest is to it. We got a number we can vote on. We don't need it. It says on September 20, 2018, Franklin County Tech sold bonds valued at $2.215 million. So they're doing. A, a yearly, uh, one year state house bond? Or bonding it yearly? No, I, I think they bonded. They took a regular bond. And they're paying it off over 15 years. But on page years. 9, the bottom. Correct. It says in 2018. Sold bonds valued at $2,215,000. Right. So they sold the bonds. Yeah. So well, they, they, the they, or yeah. Issue, they right. issued they the bonds. They issued the bonds. Yeah. yeah. So but that's only for one year's amount of money. Mm -hmm. That's only for one year's. No, that's the bonds. That's, that's the, the total. That's, that's what they spent. It's like the garage. Right. We did. We did five million dollars. Because they're assessing it's two hundred. All the towns get assessed. Oh no no. Two that's hundred. operating too. That's everything. That's every. No, that's, that's the total assessment. Oh, capital yeah. assessment. Yeah. So two million is ten percent of it about. So if we get that number, yeah, we could bond the entire thing. So the the, the motion is. Debt exclude the remaining balance of our asset? Correct. Remaining? Well, actually, it's the whole thing. Well, we've because, already paid some. Well, I think that was the short term interest? borrowing, interest on short term borrowing. Then. That's my guess. Until I get an answer, I, I wouldn't want to bet my life okay, on it. Okay, so the, to debt exclude the entire. Yeah, what? Is that? We clear on what we're looking to do? What's the objective of making all this debt exclusion? Uh, to, to keep the, the to keep, to keep, to keep the, well to keep it above the, the tax rate. Right. But and therefore the two and a half percent won't be as high every year. It's a, it's when added to, it's and added and added to the tax rate. It's gonna be that much lower. You can it's added to the tax rate. It's added to the tax yeah. rate. For as long but as it is. After it, we have does, it does go against your two and a half no, ceiling. No, it does not. Uh, it doesn't go against the two and a half ceiling. It goes against the, the debt ceiling. Our, our, it goes against the levy yeah, limit. Levy the limit. Levy, yeah. levy ceiling, levy limit, whatever you want to call it. Not the, an, not the annual increase, but the grand I, I, I believe I believe these kind of loans go against your uh, total debt ceiling. Correct. Yeah. Grand total. Uh, not, your not, not, not your debt ceiling, your, your two and a half ceiling. No. No, that's why we're doing the debt exclusion to get it out of that. So to avoid a two and a half override. 
right. to avoid, to avoid, to avoid that's, the need. To, that's what it's all well, about. A two, it, it's the same as a two and a half override, except right. it's only for the length of the depth. That's right. correct. But it right. still, exactly. but it still goes against the mm. ceiling. Uh, debt ceiling. The levy yeah, debt, limit. And the levy limit. limit. You can't go over two and a half percent right. of your property right. value. Period. That's correct. But you can. We have. The, a, that's the levy uh, limit. Right. But we have but, a borrowing amount which is much higher than that. Right. But you. Uh, but your borrowing amount, uh, yes. But your tax rate can't go over twenty-five dollars per thousand. Correct. And this is added onto your tax rate. Right. Which are at nineteen. Well, you know, it's uh, somewhere the, fi the, the fire district. 15, 15, oh, we add them all together. No, 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 those are excluded. They're not yeah. under. They're not under Proposition Two and a Half to begin with. It's fifteen nine one right now, right? Okay, fifteen ninety one. Yeah. That's they have their own two and a half. We're we're, we're around sixteen so right now. 16. Just municipality. Fifteen ninety five, I think, or something. Three or five, something like that. So twenty thousand dollars just is about three cents on the tax rate. Yeah, right. It's not that it's a huge, huge sum, but it's like it's up. Get there. it done and get it out. Done and get it out. Yeah. It's not It'll adequate. still be three cents on the tax rate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It just won't be in the operating budget. And it will give us twenty thousand dollars. Well, it will be. Spend it will be Future years, you can't take two and a half percent, an increase of two and a half percent on it. No, that's correct. It that's, keeps us yes. keeps us more conservative. Yeah. Well, in some ways, it does. Um, in other ways, it's you know we're avoiding that. So it's, instead of through the entire what what is it called? Franklin County. Franklin County Capital. Capital. Yeah. Okay. So. Field so yeah, this figure doesn't change. This figure down here. Right. Oh, I know. I got it. Yeah. So. Yep. Got it. So. Right. So a motion. A second. A second. Yep. Okay. So I, who made the motion? Did I make the motion? Who made it. Bruce seconded. Okay. It's moved. Seconded. Any other discussion? You guys are. Is that you're okay with this? Yeah. I think I remember we'll everything we talked about. We'll see when we put it all together, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Six zero zero. Yep. Okay. So you got that question about six zero uh, zero. zero. Crickets coming no, tomorrow. No, no, give the assessment. So yeah. We have capital request um, for about nine hundred thousand million bucks or something like that for. You know, engineering or something, just a pot of money in case we need that for FY20. Um, maybe we don't need it. I don't know how soon we're going to need all that stuff. We could ask him that tomorrow. Is so. W whenever we do, my question to you is: Do do we want to look at um, even dealing with that for FY20, or do we want to talk about a debt exclusion when we deal with that as well? Um, are we going to ask for? $13 million or eleven five or whatever it is at annual town meeting, or we want to do that at a special town meeting, or? No, you need to go to be out an annual, right? Definitely an annual you need to go through capital planning. Oh, yeah. For what? We no, we haven't. We have not had a request for $955,000. You haven't had a it's request, on, but you put it in. Isn't it budget. already on? It's in the 900 and some odd is in the budget. We right. put yeah. it in the budget. We put it in the budget. For FY20. As, as a, they might need it, so right. I think, but we have not had a request for it. No. Right. Because I don't, I don't have a, a dollar amount yet. Right. But I'm trying to think of, you know, thinking forward. How, you know, I want to make sure we can roll forward this year, provided we get a grant, provided everybody's okay moving forward with some aspect of. So you know, after everyone reads the, the question, assessment. What's, you know, this, it was the sewer plant was the last one that. Right. And uh, so just let me hypothetically say we went out and borrowed. The town, forget the district, the town borrowed 10 million bucks mm -hmm. on 20 years. So that was, you know, assuming that we're going to pay back $500,000 a year in principal. Um, and let's say the interest was 3%, so that's 300000 the first year in interest. Mm -hmm. So 800000 bucks. It's a dollar ten on the tax rate. 
Well, the only thing is, yeah, no, so you're, not assuming, you're assuming that no, the I'm taxpayers are going to pay all of that. I, 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 yes, exactly. I'm just talking about okay. yeah. discussion. Purposes. For discussion only. It's not the way it will work, but let's okay. just say that that's, so it's a buck ten on the tax rate. Uh, if we did not debt exclude that, then effectively what we're doing is we're saying that $15.91 tax it's going rate to 16 something. is going to the town's, for all of the operating budget, we would have to find a way of doing that for $14.80. See what I'm saying? If you don't debt exclude it, then you, you, reduce, come out the, of the budget. you reduce by whatever that debt is. All of your other spending has to be reduced because you got to get that in underneath the two and a half. Underneath right, the, right, right. So, so it has to be debt excluded. It has to be debt excluded. That's the reason for. Do we do, do we want an article at all on town meeting? I don't know. Annual one for, for this well, at all? I, I if you're if we're gonna if we're gonna do something, if they need the money next year, what are we gonna do? That's my question. I, I'm thinking we might well, so want to move forward with something, but I think that my opinion on all this is that. Uh, you know, back when the, we had the sewer study committee, you know, the sewer study committee wanted some professional uh, help to lay out a roadmap. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel that the town has had an opportunity to look at the options and say, what avenues do we want to go? It's all right, this $28 million plan is put in front of us, and this is, it's been laid out over so many years, and this is the way we're going to go. Mm. I'm not 100% sure that I, I feel that it's even an appropriate way to go. Um, there's definitely things that need to get done, and I, I, I see that you take those numbers you were just speaking of and you take it and you put it proportionate to the users. Right. I mean, some of these increases can be astronomical. I mean, you know, you're talking an increase in your sewer bills of $2,500. Right. Uh, you know, and, and that's just the beginning of it. And so, what I, what I kind of see is that even if people support it in the beginning, if we follow this one particular roadmap, that the next time around they're going to go, wait, yeah, I, I can't I deal can't with this anymore. This so, so now you stop and now you've got something that started, you can't really finish it. And, and that's why I think as a community we need to look at this roadmap and see, you know, what, what portion of this can we do, you know, now that is the most important thing and maybe put the rest off for a little while. And I know, I don't think just put doing it bits and pieces in this one direction is maybe the smartest way to go, but I, I just don't see that the town's going to continue to pay these huge increases. And, and you know, the sewer's just one of the many large increases. I, and we've, we've gotten to the point where you guys see what our budget goes, you know, that 2.5% when it was much lower. Now the, the dollar number keeps getting bigger, that 2.5% keeps coming up more. So the taxes are going to go up on the average house, maybe two or $300. But then when you add the sewer to it, it you know, it's, and it, it's pretty scary like that. And I feel the main direction is the phase one. That's, um, I know this 28 million or 30 million is hanging out there. So when you say phase one, phase one, we, I we view. We no longer have four phases. It looks like we only have three phases now. No, well, we, we have, have five. five. Uh, yeah, there is five considering the one that we are just undertook right. is the phase 1A, which was part of phase one. That, that book, that 450-page book that's sitting in the office over 800. there has three phases 800. now. Well, one, well it's, always had, it's always had South Deerfield plant, Old Deerfield plant, and then uh, the collection systems and pipes. In each and, one, in, in, each, in each one, there so was, was a it was four. a section of each, so it was about four, and then this five is because this thing reared up, and that was really part of phase one. But I think, in my mind, it can only really go forward, like with okay, I can see this road ahead of me as phase one, which is you know the clarifier. I'm ignoring that. I'm I'm thinking secondary clarifier, headworks program, generator while you're there, and there's discussion on whether it should be chlorine or UV. I don't know if UV is the answer. That still all needs to be fleshed out, but that kind of gets that process going and getting our plant 
sustainable to accept if we shut down the other one and pump down or if we rebuild that one and don't pump down or whoever knows down the road and we'll still have the other parts of the collection systems in our pipes that are failing. I mean, we've had two sewer backups today that Kevin's been dealing with, Sugarloaf Street and Eastern Ave, and, um, you know, sewer into people's basements. And it, it's a failing, failing system all over the place. Um, maybe, maybe since the property values in Old Deerfield are going up, maybe we ought to put the plant up for sale. I agree. Who knows? But, yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm saying is I don't have a clear vision on phase two, and four, because that's old Deerfield, but certainly one, I feel like we need to move forward on it. And it may be a section of like, we don't do all of phase one or, but that's what I'm hoping this assessment, people will read it, see where we're at, decide that at least this first phase needs to happen. And I feel like we need to be in a position to move on engineering. Because if, if the town doesn't appropriate anything, I don't think USDA is gonna give us a dime if we're not showing that we're stepping up. I mean, we're doing this emergency one, but we're not stepping up to do the big one. We're not moving forward. They're going to be like, well, this other town over here is already appropriated money. I'm going to send the limited dollars we have in Massachusetts to that town. So I want to be prepared with a plan going forward and some money put up to do what we really know needs to be done, and I think we all agree. Are, are you suggesting that we cover our share of the grant? Uh... What do you mean, oh, like the town share? Yeah. Appropriate that amount versus the what will be assessed by, I think the town has to borrow all of it. And, then, and then we, yes, and then we, you know, obviously. But the, the assessment, let's say we get a grant of 400,000, could be grant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 240 would be the town share. Mm -hmm. Of that, 80, 75, 80% of it's gonna be the user's share. Correct. So should we borrow 240,000, 2.4 million, whatever mm -hmm. it is? Yeah. Should we borrow that amount? Uh, yeah. in, in, instead of $978,000? Um, I mean, if I think in the show, end, yes. If I you're going to show that we don't, we, that we're proceeding in a way that says, okay, we want USDA to give us $500,000 grant. If in FY20 we appropriate our share of that, that to me would be I think more likely than appropriating some odd random number. Well, we, I was hoping to appropriate at least the the um, right the the um, design, and and I I, I I don't know whether it should be a portion of that design or if, or if it should be the whole thing. If it's eleven million, yeah, it's about a million dollars. I mean, we, yeah, we can ask for that. Um, I don't plan to borrow all that right off the bat. I I think it'll be a while before we get to borrowing, but I w would want the authority to borrow, you know, to to t to incur eleven five or whatever the total project is. I, I'm hoping <coughs> Dave could could help with a little bit of this direction tomorrow and. Uh, uh, Okay. Isn't that a capital request? Eleven point five million dollars. It's a big. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So it's it capital has, it hasn't been to the FY twenty capital plan. Yet. No. So it won't be voted on the annual town meeting. Yeah. Well, here we are in a circle of like not doing. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I need a roadmap to get rolling here. Well, I think we're we'll beyond the, the point where the capital planning is deciding on recommendations. I, I think you need well, to sit down with. Prick it and say how much we're going to need in 2020. That's what I'm hoping. And then gets, come to the capital that's planning what I'm committee hoping to with get that. that. that so that's out. that's what put right? the capital right. That's, that's what why put they, the capital uh, committee in such a bind. Right. Because we're always we're, we're like trying to hit a moving target here. Here we are, uh, you know, March 26, and we still don't have answers. We have no answers as far as expectations for costs for next year and that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the committee the committee took it upon themselves, and, the, and as I said, there was quite a discussion amongst the members of whether <coughs> we should just ignore it and not worry about it and let, let the select board scramble at the last minute <coughs> as far as funds or try to be, try to look forward as best we possibly could and put a dollar amount in there. Yeah. So if there was some cost, at least the money would be there. That's what and I'm hoping. As far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure I can't speak for the committee, <clears throat> because 
I kind of pushed this as far as putting some money in there. Uh, if, if we don't have answers and we want to put a zero in there, if people feel we should put a zero in there, that's fine as far as I'm concerned, as far as the capital, uh, you know, the five-year plan, put a zero in there. When you figure out what you need for money, then guess what? Then we'll scramble and try to figure it out. Yeah, but it's not I, an easy I hate, target. I hate, I hate the situation of putting the Capital Improvement Committee in a position where at the 11th hour, and I'm not saying you, Trevor, I'm just saying the situation. You know at the, the situation. 11th hour, coming to the committee and saying, well, you've got to hurry up and vote this tonight because we need I'd this. I'd rather not. And it's like we're sitting there and we, we haven't even read through what you're requesting in that. So, so it puts it puts the capital committee in a, in a real bind. Of course it does. So it puts it, us in a real bind. Right. We're and all in the same exactly. bind. Exactly. And so that's... But that's I, what I'm saying. I'm, as a committee, I think we try to anticipate the best and we I, could. And I appreciate that. Right. And that's why I'm asking, should we... Should we um, you may need more we, money. I don't think we will for FY20. I don't think so either. I probably. think we're only going to need, you know, even a portion of that nine, because I think we're going to have, in the fall, we're going to have this the retained earnings certified. You know, so we'll have some cash there. Go ahead, Bruce. Um, did the Capital Planning Committee recommend that amount of money to the selectmen? No, we have not received a request. We no. have not received a request. So there's no recommendation to we, the Well, we did right. We did recommend it just because I, our, I our own committee, I as, disagree. Far as, that's what right. I want, that's what as far I as our I, anticipation. I and I know, John, you disagreed when we had the vote. No, I disagreed that we recommended it. We didn't take oh, a we vote voted on it. We didn't you take voted a vote on it. We took a vote to put it in the plan that it might be spent. Right. Correct. So right. that, we didn't make a vote to have it appropriated. No, so the selectmen now it's in the selectmen's ballpark. But it's now in the selectmen's ballpark. Right, yes right. it is. Right. That's what so the selectmen have to decide what they're gonna do. Are they gonna put an article are they gonna put an article on and, and are we gonna debt exclude it? Right. Well I think the the big question is the nine hundred thousand dollars I, I do on one hand feel that it is appropriate to make some money available to do some of this work in engineering. But the big question is the million dollars for engineering. What are we going to engineer? Are right. we, is that oh, just going to be the first, is that going to be the first phase? And are we going to follow yes. that? Because I think trying to follow that roadmap is like trying to baptize a cat. Yep. I don't know. I understood. I agree with you. You never tried that? Without having a definite I can only imagine. agreement of all the baptize people. Baptize a cat. A cat. <laughs> Yeah, you'll bleed. You'll bleed before it's done. <laughs> we're big, heavy liberals. I, I don't know the answer. I just know that we're we've got this train rolling down the track. I'm trying to figure out how to steer it. I, I need help, and uh, it, it's tough we're, to we, figure out. We've just moved out of the way. Well, I know you, know, you have. We have. <laughs> I mean, we have moved out of the way. I know you have. We don't have anything to recommend. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm not asking so you to recommend Jeff was anything. That's wrong when you said it was eleventh hour. It's not eleven o'clock. It's eleven fifty six and rolling. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I, so, so I mean, the selectmen do what they need to do to course. get the money. We will. So, we'll do that. But, so let but me it ask does, a question. Just to, discussion. Are we got to excluded. To ignore this conversation is crazy. I mean, we have our our you know the financial heads of the town sitting at this table, and this is where we need yeah, to man. kind of. How many times we've discussed this? Many. So now we're pricking. <laughs> so now we are saying we have nothing to recommend. We have no line item. The capital, we, yes, did ha on, we didn't have on the capital plan. We, we held it last week for another discussion. It's in our minutes, so we did not vote to recommend. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for more discussion. We've had more discussion. We didn't have any to recommend. We've had so so <laughs> let, me, let me just throw out my just, two just cents worth, and this is my two cents worth. Thank you. We've got a plan here, and if I, I'm looking at this correctly, that we've got uh, $16 million for the South Deerfield plant. Is that, are these the right figures? I haven't looked at it yet, yes. So let's just assume that they're the right figures. So, and for the moment, forget the old Deerfield plant. That's $9 million. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what are we planning to talk to town meeting about? Right. Well, that's what I'm hoping to talk. And with. my feeling is that we should be at least talking about 
fifteen million dollars. I mean, if you're going to start this project, that was my point earlier. You've got to start it based on something. Exactly. And saying, well, well, just give us another million dollars, and we'll we'll see how far that takes us. Correct. Uh, I'm saying. Not, I want to ask for phase one, whatever if whatever the number is on that. But I, I still am not 100 percent that thing. phase one. Well, what do you mean? I want to do that phase, phase two? one, phase two, and phase three for South Deerfield. That's why I'm saying it's now three phases in South Deerfield. Where that came from is beyond me. Well, yeah. phase one A, <laughs> phase one, phase two. We always had two in Deerfield. Now, now, we we get, right. now we get three. It says phase three. Yeah, phase it's three just, would be the piping. Phase right. two would yeah, be yes. the, what used to be phase one, and phase one is now phase one A. But I think we ought to be. I think we ought to go to town meeting and say, look, we're we're going to need approximately fifteen, sixteen million dollars to do the South Deerfield plan. Mm -hmm. And. You know, maybe we can be more specific and say, okay, we're going to need a million dollars this coming year. Mm -hmm. uh, but to not say that, look, here's here's a breakdown. Yeah, oh, yeah. And we're going to do this Great. over two years, five years. How long is it going to take us to do this? The longer that we push it off and do a little bits here and there, I think I'm, that's not a, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that's no way to run a project. Get it done. Do get it done as quickly as you can. So it doesn't cost a ton in the long run. Well, the, the, the whole the, the, the whole idea here is is if if you pick that path to go, and that's right now the only path that we have. That's right. You know. So if we appropriate 16, and we whittle it down to 12, we have four million unborrowed. Is that right? Yeah. What are we whittling? No, we have a 16 million dollar project. If we mm -hmm. then, through uh, yeah. meetings with the sewer committee, the selectman, the engineer, decide that this is the better way of getting what we need accomplished, and it's only going to cost $12 million. you only borrow 12 Correct. But you so, asked for the 16 Is yes. that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm good with that. I just, I mean, I, I do, I want people to look at the assessment, get advice, try and find but more you efficient have to, ways. On the town meeting floor, you have to state what that $16 million means to sewer users yep. and what it means to the town. You know, we need to debt exclude it, but you can't debt exclude it for the sewer users, so they're going to get an assessment every year from the town. Yeah, I mean, debt, debt exclusion doesn't mean anything to... to uh, Sewer rates. Enterprise funds cannot get it's, it's just right. not, it's it's only the it's our it's yeah, the town's four, portion. Four million dollars. So you got to get townspeople to back that. Then you got to get the sewer users to back that annual increase they're going to see at six for sixteen million dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean those numbers have to be cut and dry. I have it up on the board. This is what it's going to cost you. And, you gotta, and, and we're obviously going to say we hope we're going to get. Four million grants. Exactly. Grants. Anything. But if we don't, this is what it is. We we need to to do something here. Yeah. Period. We definitely need to. So and we'll all we'll all stand up and we'll put Dave up front and we'll all stand behind and go like this. Yeah. <laughs> He's a big guy. You can take it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's a big well, guy. Can stand behind. I haven't had a chance to go through that, but I, I, I what I was either. looking Nobody for. I saw this yeah. this afternoon for right. 15 minutes. Yeah. What I was looking for was a cost analysis, a breakdown to the, the cost of sewer users and you know yeah, the regular tax base. And and well, I think that's an important thing because we can. We, you want I mean, that? I get that someplace. Well, I, I I read this stuff way too much, and it's a bit confusing. So when you go to the town meeting, you can tell people ah. That, they're not going to know, and they, it, they could be the smartest accountants in the world. They're not going to follow this, they haven't you know, because we have this moving target, you know, and we all know that something has to get done. Well, we, look at it this way: it's, it's, let's say that let's say that uh, it's sixteen million dollars, and the town's share is four million. It's four. That's twelve million of the sewer users. Yep. You're going to pay that over thirty years. Forty. Uh, no, that's no, only a loan. No, That's the USDA loan. It's you've, 40 you've, you've got, right. You've, well, you've got. They want you to borrow it for 40. What about Old Deerfield? <sighs> we're, we're ignoring Old Deerfield. Yes, we are at the moment. 
Well, we, you know, you can't, you can't go through this thing and say, all right, so now we're going to charge you five thousand bucks a year for your sewer to, you know, sewer users. Each sewer user is going to pay five thousand bucks, and then fifteen years from now, we're going to do it again and hold your. Right. Well, the, uh, the plan is shorter. I believe it's four years from now, four or five years from now. Well, I'm not 13. sure. With it. Yeah, so I mean, it, that's... And the total, the total yeah. thing was 13 years. And right. I did go through and I took each piece and I laid that out. I've got... So let's take $12 million. Let's mm -hmm. assume, because I don't like the idea of spending 10 years to run that $12 million out or six years. I'd like to do it in two or three years, get the project done with. So if we but borrow the money but they can't afford it. and we don't, and, and we, we pay for it, do it over 30 years. Um, so if it's $12 million over 30 years, that's $400,000. And this is the sewer users. Right, which are of 800, say 800 users. So you have 800 users, 900 now because we just added 72. Yeah, and you lost probably 10 downtown now. Yeah. Well, what my point my point is that so if you got twelve million dollars, no, just say a thousand years, thirty. 30 years, so that's you got forty four thousand dollars a user per year. That they're going to pay four thousand dollars. No, it's not that. Four hundred thousand with a with a thousand users. So twelve million over eight hundred users. Did you actually kick that up to nine hundred? No, I already split that way. They didn't like it. So that's fifteen thousand dollars per user over thirty years. Right. How Plus much, interest. How much is the septic system? Plus interest. Mm -hmm. so but that doesn't include their sewer bill. That's right. plus, plus whatever their sewer bill is now, yeah. approximately. No, they're going to be based on it's going to be based on usage. Some people won't even see an increase, and, that, and that's why that's why get, if we're going in that direction, that's why a study needs to be done on yep. equal residential uh, unit. Yeah, because easy use because for capital improvements and because the, the usage factor does not weigh in for. Multi-families, apartments, and everything else. Well, just a single, just just to take the number of people that don't hit the maximum, the, the, the cutoff where they have to start paying more than all the than all the people that you're going to have for half summer. the people in town going with minimum use, and the other half of people are going to be paying twice what they normally would have paid. So it's got to be different than users, and that's what the problem. Hmm. With Prickett study two years ago, yes, we brought that up. Yes, it, it did wasn't it, because the more you charge them, the less water people are going to use. And if you're going to base the increase on users, how much water you use, then it's just not going to work. It has to be as well as it drives up the water rates because now they haven't generated enough income. Exactly, because the water usage will be down. Well, I could double and it'd be fine. So the point is that there's a goodly sum of money there. You're talking if they're paying 500 bucks now, you're going to add 500 plus you're going to add interest to it, yep. and then you're going to do the same thing over again in, in 10 years for all the field, whatever the hell mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, it's it's less by by a third. Uh, it's part, real numbers, part of the, and it hurts. Part of the ceiling on that is also the fact that even at where I think we're a little over 600 dollars on the average household right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still at six hundred dollars. Is still one of the lowest That's in the state mm -hmm. by a long shot. Well, and you're right. It is. So but when you, you add, know, so even you if you add on the five hundred dollars, it brings yeah. up to eleven hundred dollars. Now you're probably getting up maybe a little on the high side of middle, but you're nowhere near what some towns. Many towns are well over two thousand dollars a year, unfortunately. And it's doing nothing but getting worse. Mm -hmm. The only thing that might be on the horizon that might help the sludge is that Greenfield is still talking to the composter. Yeah. Now, whether that's going to come in the horizon because that's the other issue that's going to drive the O&M up is it's the sludge. sludge. I know. Uh, because nobody's taking that anymore. I know. So the question that We've is... We've gotten off the finance committee 
I know. Yeah, I'm they, sorry. I didn't mean to. But I just, you know, he's coming tomorrow, and I just hope people will be here to but I, discuss. I, the, the point, I think the point that we're talking about is what are we going to do at town meeting? Right. right. Exactly. And, and maybe think, maybe I'm not ready. And may, you know, I know nobody wants a special, but I don't want to rush something either. I just, I, you know, I don't know well, what to do. I don't think you can do it in a special town meeting. You should. Not that in my mind. But I don't think, can we wait another whole year before we do anything? No. So, so what are our choices? That's what I'm saying. I'm kind of stuck. Like I don't know what to do. I, I, I would like to ask at this town meeting, but it, but it's a little bit of a throwing a dart at a wall. It's I mean, we have argument. we have a big assessment. We can pull some information out of there. I mean, I just think we have to get started on something. It's and be yes or no. It, I mean, it really then is. you know, then you bring it up next year. You have a better idea how it, how it really will work. And hopefully, if it if it's no this year, it'd be yes next year. You got to it's going to have to be, or it's going to be 10000 bucks a year. <laughs> is that the report you were talking about? These companies? Yes. Yep. You know there should be five of them would, here. Would you mind if I took that home with me, too? That's fine. I think there's an extra. No, I'll I'll it. It. But make sure read, everybody gets up. I will read some of it. <laughs> <laughs> All of it by tomorrow. No. The index? <laughs> the index? And yeah. then please, yeah. please yeah. share it with the board. And I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to develop a uh, Dropbox so that, and get all your email addresses so you, anyone's on the sewer study committee or interested they could just look at it online because that's about 800 bucks to print 800 dollars to print that i think no. so each or maybe it was all five of them i don't know oh, it's a lot of money now i know why it's 26 million dollars yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're in the wrong business they get the print of it but you uh, got a lot, a lot of colored copies of Maybe there is. I don't know. There are a different. A lot, uh, a lot of color in there. It's quite a bit. Oh, 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 yeah, oh look at oh, that. Oh, oh, yeah. color. No wonder. Yeah. Col Coloroscopies in there. Yeah. There is. There is. I got some of those. Every pipe. Too, like, you love that red and a half an hour, oh, Bruce. Oh, yeah, it's all pictures, it. Bruce. Yeah. It's all pictures. <laughs> all pictures. <right>. Love. <laughs> Tell them to cut out all the pictures. Is there an doing? executive summary to that? Love. No. <laughs> it's it's I, I did look. What kind of report they, is that? Card enough, maybe. Should be the first 10, 15 pages. Oh, I looked in the back. No. Yeah. So we're going nowhere on this, right? Well, no, no. I, but I think we've had some discussion, and I, I, I agree. We're not. We didn't arrive at any conclusions, but it's fine. It's uh, just when they take temperatures. My, my feeling is that. We need to be open and honest at this coming town meeting. Yes, yeah. about what's coming. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to need some money someplace. And uh, you, we, have, we got pay. So what do we do with the, with the 250000 bucks that uh, the town share of the million dollars that we voted at? Uh, mm. Was that this month or was that February? It was February. this month. It was this month. Oh, yeah, beginning of March. Yep. Um, That'll be spent in FY20. So we have to have a number. Actually, it's FY19. Appropriation. Yeah, that's. It'll be spent in FY. Okay. No, so it came out of free cash, right? What else? Where <laughs> else are we, we gonna get? It? We don't know. What else are we getting? Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We're gonna dare split it. I think that's what we discussed at one of our meetings. Free cash. I believe so. That's nice. That is good. You, that, or no much we left. just discussed it, didn't make a decision. Uh, that we, it's I thought there was a discussion that we were going to debt exclude our portion of that, which is um, two hundred and fifty thousand bucks. Right, and then um, there was some discussion not to if we were going to go ask for the giant debt exclusion. Um, we, we it was not it was not we didn't take the issue up at town meeting. Right. At the, the discussion right. at the time the selectmen's meeting was that yeah, it wasn't a good idea for exclude that two fifty, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Was there any decision how to pay for it? Right. Um, we know we have free cash. You can take it out and pay for free it. Free cash and we have stabilization, right? But we, that needs a vote. Two thirds vote. Which would have to be at the annual, annual town, town meeting. Well, wasn't that an authorization to uh, borrow? We did that. Yeah. That article was an authorization to borrow, I believe. I believe. Yeah. I know yeah. that meeting, but. Yeah, $1 million. We still need to, we still have a payment potentially right. in the 20, though. Mm -hmm. We don't know. We haven't budgeted that. Well, I mean, and that why, right that's now. why we had to go back and look 
at one of these debt these debt sheets. But well, we can we can is. we can stall it off for ten years, and then we could go and. But you know, it'd be nice to to figure out how we're going to pay. That's what we did. That's what we did with the Oxford property. We we just ignored how we're going to pay for it, which is why when was it? Twenty years ago that we took the Oxford property, close to that. Well, yeah. And then after six or seven years, the state finally said, "Okay, guys, it's time that you can get yourself in order and and pay and, start and, paying and, on this." and pay this off over some period of time. Okay. You mean Oxford didn't request any payments for six or seven Oxford years? got paid. Who out of, out of operating budget? Oh, they just got paid. We No, we borrowed the money. Okay, we borrowed That's the money. That's what this is. Exactly what this is. Right, well, right no, I believe. No, no? That's, no we, did, we didn't do this until, what's the date? Oh. 2013. Ah. And seven years before that, when well, we actually bought the property. We bought one year oh, notes. We bought and we just, we just, we, we, we just one year paid interest on yeah, so this refinance, house refining bonds. Short term debt. They didn't refi, they financed. As long as you paid off 5% of the principal every year, the state said you could do it. And then they changed it after and said you can't carry that more than five years. I see. Because at one time the fire department was using that rationale to buy a new fire truck. They paid off over 20 years that way with state house refunding bonds. And we were told that by bond council when they came into the prudential committee meeting. Yeah. They said, don't even bother bonding it for three or four or five hundred thousand dollars. Use what they call state health refunding bonds as long as you pay off the current rate interest and five percent of the principal every year, you can do that. Hmm. But they stopped that practice and they stopped it and said, now you can't carry it for more than five years. Uh, that's the reason we went that's and funded, why you went to funded that. Get the money, but you, you don't you don't need to go out and actually create a bond, you can use uh, <coughs> whatever these state house notes. <coughs> but it doesn't cost us. <coughs> yeah. So so there will be some payment, whether it's if well, we do it for 10 is, years, 25000 30000 Or we do it all in one year. Or mm -hmm. we do it all in one year. Well, I, get, I thought that part of the hope, and there again, I, uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but was if we get any grants was to roll this into, I was just thinking uh, you know, right, and be eligible year. for that. Whereas if it's already paid off, you probably lose your eligibility, wouldn't you? I think that's what Dave was hoping that we could, if we did get a loan. You have more could, experience than I do. That back, if we get, like I said, if we get four million, five million dollars in grant, we'll get potentially up to two hundred thousand, two million, four million, five million dollar grant. We'll get up to two million dollars in. Uh, Green. No, if we if, if th we're talking about this one million, if this were to be paid out of that off, two million dollar that we get in the USDA five million dollar award, right. we'll play it that way. USDA gives us says you're eligible for five million dollars. Of that, we'll give you a forty percent grant. That's two hundred thousand, two hundred million dollar grant. Two million. So you roll that one million into it. Now you only got a million left of grant money. Now we were two hundred fifty thousand. We rolled into it, and now we rolled two hundred fifty thousand into it. We, you know, then you short again. Then where do you have any money to design the the project you said you applied for? <laughs> now your project I mean, somewhere along the way is reduced by one or two million dollars, one point two five million dollars. So, so do you think we can figure this out in an hour tomorrow? No problem. <laughs> if you do look, call me at home, let me know. Yeah, call me too. You'll be here. I'll be on, I'll watch <laughs> your TV. I hope you're here. I, I don't know. It's complicated. Know it's really it's not been, easy. It's been two hours, so. Yeah, four yeah. time I better get home. You I'll, entertain I'll, a motion. Entertain a motion. Wait, next next meeting. next meeting? Do we need to vote next that? week? No, we don't. I'll call the meeting. The third? What's the next meeting? Second. Second. April second, Tuesday. You, you got that one posted, Skip? It will be by Thursday. Okay. Hey, bud. So, Six just a question. Yeah, I think the selectmen are finalizing the seven. budget tomorrow night, mm -hmm. and they first pass okay. it. Yes. And they're Bye. going to vote on um, no, no, the classification no. compensation Bye. schedule. I'll call you back. Bye. I don't know. Are they? Yes, yeah. it's on their agenda. But that's been on the agenda, agenda for five months. Um, whatever. So, 
we'll have a, they're going to end up with a total number. Are we going to start looking at articles at some point? At what? Not town meeting articles. Not till they get them ready. Trevor, could you hold just a second? Yeah, sure. So town meeting articles, when are you guys going to finalize those? We're going to work on them tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to work on them tomorrow. have a draft for them tomorrow, I believe. Check with Diana. And then I we would have them at our second meeting? Yeah. When do we? Because like, we got to vote them like at least two with it by, in two weeks. I think they got. Okay, so them. then we Pretty could long. have them in two weeks too. So it won't be at our next meeting. No, so we I, have to I finalize would, all of our budget. We might have a draft. I would, like to, I would like to look at income and expenses next okay. the next meeting so that we can see what what we've got. What okay. do we have left to vote on? There, there are a couple. Of things. A couple revotes. Yeah. Trevor, if you can come up with a number tomorrow night, I know that's difficult for this, you know, wastewater treatment as far as what you think you're going to need for 2020. And if it's a zero, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if whatever that number is, if you could pass that on, because that way, in as John had mentioned, if there's a large number, a written request to the CIPC, yeah. so we can you take can action on formal. that because yeah. you know, supposedly know we're supposed to be done. I know it happens but, every year. And uh, if it's a zero, fine, we can remove that Four nine that yeah. nine from the column and, and simply right. take that right off the line item. Yeah. That way, it'll help us as far as a finance committee too to figure out where we have to go with this in as far as funding in. I would like it to be that. Right. The, and I know that's engineering, but I, you know, because I right. do want to move on it. But yeah, right. I'll try to get that answer. And please come tomorrow night if you can. We have, we've got a motion and we've got a second. Can I we do. We, we have five we things made left. The we have five things left. Just FYI for everybody. Yeah. Front, Frontier Regional, Frontier Regional Capital, Frontier Regional Transportation. We won't have no, she hadn't yeah. updated that. We did huh? last week. There won't be anything for capital. Well, I'm just saying this is what's open, that's all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. voted Frontier last week. Right. Okay. Front, Franco right. Tech and Franco Tech Capital. We, we don't did. have that either because of that exclusion. Yeah, we, we voted Franco still Tech. Still, that exclusion or not, it's still there. All right, well, those five items. Are Last, last week we voted as as Franklin Tech and if you, assessment. If you're around tomorrow night, please have a capital situation. She, oh, that's right. She didn't give us a new sheet. I'm glad we have at least... Some reading material. Okay, all those in favor of the I, I didn't get who made who made what. Uh, all right, make it up. BS, <laughs> BS, and JU. Yes, yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> all those in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. Eight oh two. Eight oh three.